Hey guys, welcome back to Make That Sea Change. Paul here with you again. And Make That Sea Change is my site and channel aimed at everything to do with the world of setting up your own online business, whether that be affiliate marketing, drop shipping, or any other method that we actually talk about within this post and video, when we talk about how to sell hair care online. Now, hair care is a massively popular niche. It falls into a number of sub-niche categories and very popular categories like self-care, beauty, uh, even cosmetics, and there's a quite a large number of ways that you can sell them as well, meaning that if you're looking to set something up online, then this could be something that if you have a passion of about hair products or know a lot about hair products or an ex-professional or whatever, then this could be a way to go. Now, in this post, we'll run through what to look for, how we can sell them and what you'll need to do. So let's start with what you look for, what to look for. I'm just going to start you off with some statistics about hair care. I'm not going to read you through the post word for word. You can have do that yourself either in the link in YouTube below or in the post. But let's just have a look at some statistics that I've come up with. So as we go through, first thing I always like to do is see if there's an interest in hair care. So if we click on, if we do a search on hair care here through Jaxi, which is a program I'm using. Uh, I can see 8,000 odd searches per month for hair care, 8,700 odd search en searches per month for hair care products. And you see even starting looking there, frizzy hair, discount hair, black hair, etc., etc. So breaking that down a little bit, shampoo, just to see how products work within this area. I mean, I could have searched condition, I could have searched, you know, scalp care, any other product that you can have. 25,000 on searches, people like tea tree oil shampoo, Joyco, which is a brand, back to basic shampoo and conditioner, back to basic shampoo. I'm not sure if that's a brand or a process, but if you know what that is, again, it's quite popular. So shampoo, good numbers. And another area that came up when I was looking through it for affiliate programs is hair loss. Again, vitamins for hair loss. Who would have known 20, nearly nearly over 50,000 searches per month for vitamins for hair loss. So there alone is a massive um, niche. Natural, chemical free, hasn't come up too much in here. It was below, this screen here does scroll down a bit further, and there was quite a bit in there looking at natural chemical free hair loss products, natural chemical free shampoo. Let's have a look at our stats. So our trends, sorry, so over time you can see hair care, Maybe a little rise there. Um, no real spikes or drops, meaning that it's a good market all year round. So if it's something you're interested in all year round, this would be a very good market to get into. And as I mentioned before, some of the stuff that's come up, generic products, brands, hair loss, hair growth, hair dyes, vegan chemical free options, electric cools such as blow dryers, straighteners and the like as well. So there is a very good market there for that. And as you can see, it is definitely something that we can work with in our online business. So what do we need to do? So let's look at just preparing ourselves to sell. There's three things that you probably need to have a good idea of before we worry about how we're gonna sell them the like. First thing is what actually are you selling? Now I touched, I showed you some niche options then. Uh, electronics, shampoos and conditioners, hair loss products, uh, electronics, straighteners, dryers, there's even little laser hair growth appliances that you can that you can get, etc. So any of those are a niche that you're looking at. So have a think about what it is you want to target on. You can expand later on. I mean, hair care might be something that you choose to do the whole niche in one big hit. But my advice would be to get started in a particular area, whether it be dealing with frizzy hair or dyed hair or... Um, hairstyles, or if you want to go down the hair loss with the vitamins that we saw had massive interest, hair loss products also have a massive interest. So think about what you're trying to do. If that's something that you struggle with, then go into, ironically, my hair, back of my hair is itchy. Um, we go into hair, into the product, uh, products, problems that we can sell. So if you're not sure on your niece, think about what problems you can solve within the hair care niche. So what is it you know about? What is it you're passionate about? Uh, problems are why, why people search online. So they want, might want to know how to deal with head lice in children. That just come up because my head was itchy. I haven't got head lice. Um, but head lice in children. How to stop 
um, hair loss, as we've talked about. You want to transition your family from chemical laden products into chemical free products. They're all problems you have, and that's what makes you search online. So if you if if I mention solving problems, you think, well, I know how to do that, that, and that. There's how maybe you can narrow it into your niche. And the third option then is who's your target audience? Because that can help your niche as well. Are you going on high-end products? Are you targeting um, the luxury items? Because that will lend your niche into, okay, so what sort of luxury products can I go to? Are you just targeting people losing hair? And then break that down into are you targeting the men or their partners? Because... Um, a lot of men I know who are losing their hair, which tends to happen at my age. We either go grey or we lose our hair, and a lot of them, a few of them are in denial. So it might be their partners that you're dealing with. So that's your target audience, and then from there your niche takes care of itself because it's hair loss for partners, so on and so forth. So you can see how you can use those three things. So get yourself a bit of paper, write down what it is. Are you passionate? Is it something you're passionate about or is it something you know about? You need to have one of those two or else you'll lose interest and you won't be able to build your online business. So what is your niche? What are you passionate or knowledge about? What problems can you solve? Who is your target audience? Once you've got those three things nutted out, then we get into how we sell, which is what we're looking at now. So how we sell, there's a few options here. The main option and one that I tend to go with with my size is affiliate marketing. So what affiliate marketing is, is let's talk about the hair loss niche, for example. So if we're talking about um, hair loss products, you might write a whole review on, I saw the other day, as I said, my affiliate programs list, and there's a list in this link. If there's a link to that list, a link to that list in this post, you'll be able to get in and see that. But if you, um, a, you might review, there's a little laser cap thing that you put on head, on your head, and it, the lasers stimulate the scalp, which stimulates hair growth. You might review that. So after you've re you have reviewed that, what you do is you link, put a link in your post that goes off to the vendor who sells those products. They make the sale. So the person reads your post, you send them off your website. I know that's in Web Development 101. You don't want to send people off your website. But in this case, you send people off your website, off to the vendor. They then purchase from the vendor. The vendor then pays you a commission on that sale. So it's same as bricks and mortar sales when you're earning commissions on products that you've got. The difference is you don't have to purchase that product first at wholesale or anything like that. You don't have to manage shipping. You don't manage customer service. All you do is write about the product and then link people off to the vendor who makes a sale. You then make the commission on that. Next option you've got then is drop shipping. Now what drop shipping does is it's similar to affiliate marketing where you write all about the products. The difference being is with drop shipping, you actually have a wholesale agreement with a vendor. You still don't have to buy it, you still don't hold inventory or anything like that. But you might strike up a deal with a vendor for the laser hair loss products that this vendor will sell the wholesaler will sell it to you for 50 bucks. You can then go and sell it for 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 300, 1000 for whatever you want to sell it for. You still pay the vendor $50. You make the difference between the the wholesale price and your sale price. Sell them on Amazon, sell them on eBay, or any, anything like that. The only difference with that is that is you often have to handle the sale and the customer service. Um, Amazon will do that for you if you, if you they, they'll take a cut obviously, but then you've got drop shipping. So the main difference between affiliate marketing and drop shipping is affiliate marketing, the vendor handles everything, they set the price. Drop shipping, you can set the price, but you have to do a little bit more with the with the wholesaler in setting up your costs, working out who's going to do the shipping, customer service and the like from there. Okay, third option you've got is white labeling. White labeling is where, this is where you do have outlays. I might purchase a hundred boxes of vegan shampoo that come with no label on it, hence the name white label. I'll then put my label on it and sell as my own. Then I might get some conditioner. I might get some head scalp care. I might label all those, put them in a little basket and sell them as a, as a pack, as my own product. So that's what you're doing with white labeling. You're getting, um, they call it in the wine industry, they call it, um, they call it something else. And I had it in my brain a second there and it's gone. It'll come to me later. Um, but so as I say, white labeling, you purchase the products of someone else 
but then you put your own branding, your own labeling on it, and you sell it as your own. Now you can do that for anything. You can do it for hair dryers if you want. I'm sure you can buy hair dryers and the like. Now I'll just show you in the post how you can find all these programs. So if we go into affiliate marketing, just do affiliate hair care, you'll see we've got affiliate programs there. In drop shipping, we've, you can see we've got drop shipping hair care there. If we go into white labeling, you'll see you've got white labeling. Uh, white labeling tends to be all about um, private label is the term I was trying to think of before. Um, so they've got hair masks, shampoos, conditioners, hair gels, oils, so on. So they, they all come out with no label on it. You'll put your own label on there and you will sell it as your own. So that's what you can do with your white labeling. Uh, next option then is multi-level marketing. Now multi-level marketing has a bit of a stigma, but you'll find that there's a lot of multi-level marketing companies out there these days who have cottoned on the fact that if you, they don't set sales targets and don't make you have to recruit, they'll pay you quite high commissions, higher than drop shipping and higher than um, affiliate marketing. Same process, you write all about their products, review them, write about their, their benefits, how they can help you, how they can solve your problems, and then you just make the sale through your, through your multi-level marketing company. You can make some very, very good money that way. The difference is that you've got the downline options as well. So you can go into the downline, have a look on my site into the, under the um, multi-level marketing programs lists under my menus. You'll see uh, one in there going to beauty. I'll do, I'll split out a hair care one over the next week or so, but in the, so if you're watching this post in a year or time, there should be a hair care one there at the moment going to beauty and you'll see them there. Look for ones that, as I say, don't make you have a sales targets and don't heavily rely on your recruiting downline and you can make some good money there. Okay, so that's the main methods, as I say, affiliate marketing, drop shipping, white labeling, multi-level marketing. Other option you have there is other methods. Get on YouTube, do videos on teaching people how to clean hair, how to wash children's hair, how to remove head lice, how to dye your hair, how to apply gels properly, how to stimulate hair growth, whatever it is that you've got within a niche, shoot videos, um, teach people how to do it online. Then from that you can sell, you can put affiliate links on, you can put drop shipping links on, you can sell advertising on your site, so on and so forth. So you've got your YouTube there, um, or set up coaching. Set up a coaching section where you teach people how to do particular things within the hair. Set up a Kajabi site or something like that. There's so many options there. Think about something that's not covered within the hair care niche. Go for it. Okay, so we've covered the options. We know we've looked at our niche problems we're solving our target audience. How we're we selling affiliate marketing, drop shipping, multi level marketing, white labeling, anything else you can think of. What do we need? You'll probably need a website. Websites is where you put all this information on. So you found, you either found this video through YouTube or you're watching it through the my website where you did a search and found how to sell hair care products or hair care and you're watching this video. Same, that's what a website does. It gives you that avenue or that tool to record all your, solve all your problems, write all your information, keep your videos and the like. If you need help with the website, click on the link directly underneath it. I'll, I'll take you in, I can show you how to build a website. Okay, next you've got is social media. Build yourself some social media. We've already talked about YouTube. In the hair care niche, Instagram would be very good because you can have photos of people with their hair colored or hair gelled or um, different in hair lot. You know, this is him before hair loss, this is him after the, before the treatment, after treatment, etc., etc. Facebook groups and Facebook's very good for discussing things. And the last thing you've got there is join some Facebook groups. Just type hair care or hair products, um, it will come up with areas local to your ge geographic location, it's a big word, and you'll be able to get in and get into hair care groups. And from there, you'll be able to see what problems they've got. People will tell you in the groups what they're trying to do. I mean, not in a hair care one, I'm in a barbecue, like a smoking barbecue one, I'm in a couple of fishing ones, and through there, all they are talking about is What's the best things for this? What's the best for that? What's the best for this? How does this work? There's all people are feeding you the problems they have. All you need to do is take those problems on board, write about them on your website, link people off to however you're going to sell those products, and you're good to go. 
Okay guys, that's it. That's how to sell hair care online. Hope that was helpful for you. If you're watching within the within YouTube, please like and subscribe to my channel below. If you're in YouTube or in the post, comment below. Um, if you have any experience selling hair care online, how it works for you, what works well. If you have any questions, any feedback, any comments, need any help, comment below. Love to hear from you. Okay guys, thanks for that. Chat to you soon. Bye.